Right, so uh, good day to everybody. Today we are going to look at two parts of a normal training session that goes on in, in any uh, normal dojo. So please be aware that this is a uh, practice session with everybody being fifth dan and sixth dan and above. Uh, however, no big sensei is looking over us, so we are doing our self-practice. We begin with some basic training, some basic kihon exercises, and then we do keiko, uh, the fight. However, before this, we did some stretching and warm up, but it's not a part of this uh, video. So this is a 10 minute part one series talking about the basics. Uh, in a basics, you can see I'm right in the middle of the screen. So the first exercise they will do is uh, Kirikaishi. We all begin with Kirikaishi, the basics. So let's have a look at Kirikaishi. So here my opponent, Yokoisa, he is doing the Kirikaishi four forward back, uh, five backwards. See beautiful men, and also you see the distance is very important. So he's getting into his Isoku Itonomai, where the Nakayu is touching the Nakayu here, and from there he's launching the men. Uh, after his Kirikayashi, now we will go into the, uh, the small men techniques, which I request him. So we're going to do some small men techniques. So here you can see I'm going for the small men, right? Making uh, small men means not going too big and keeping the uh, sword very close to the opponent's head and striking with a good fumikomi. So this needs a lot of uh, good timing with the fumikomi. So uh, please uh, do this, the small fumikomi. However, before this, we'll do the big one. So now see that, uh, Yokoi-san, my opponent, he decides to do the big men. So in big men, we are going full above our head, full strike, and it's a good exercise to uh, match it with our Fumikomi foot. So with Fumikomi foot, when we do it Fumikomi foot, it gives us a good sense of the timing. And that's why I really recommend everybody to start, first of all, let's start with the big men like this, big men, and get the Fumikomi timing corrected with the time of the hit. And uh, after you do the big man, uh, yes, All right. Now, uh, so we both have done our men. We will now move on to uh, the Kote strikes. So, at, at here, uh, I request to him that, okay, let's let's do some Kote strikes. So for the Kote, you can see clearly that uh, this is the Shokujin no Mai. So I'm going to the shok Shokujin no Mai right here. And from here, I enter, I enter, I enter. And as soon as I reach the Nakayu, I'm going to strike his Kote. And this, yeah. So that's a uh, Kote basic strike with the Fumikomiyashi. So we're going to do some Kote strikes and get so. Enter, take the kote. Enter, take the kote. Don't forget the foot for Uh After uh, Yokoi-san has also done uh, main kote, the next is we decide, okay, let's do, we had good training of men and kote, so let's do some do strikes. So now we are going to do some do strikes. Uh, we decide that let's do some toe strike. So here I show you. Going forward, yes, and cutting the toe. So this time I'm going for the opponent's right toe. So the toe strikes and we move forward with the zanshin. All right, hit the toe, move forward with the zanshin. And similarly, uh, Yokoi-san is going to do his bid for the door strikes. So now he's going to do the door strikes. All right. Nice and clean. Nice. After uh, the door strikes, which uh, the, you can see in the background, people are doing their kote strikes there, men strikes, they're all doing the basic training together. After the those strikes finish, uh, we decide that, okay, maybe uh, I would like to practice my kote men. 
double strike kote and men so it's called nidanuchi kote and men so very small kote and very small men but the important thing is to be very very fast pa pa so it has to be in like a beat like pam pam it cannot be like pam pam it has to be like pam pam fast beat all right so here i practice my kote men and then uh, my my opponent uh, yokoishan also decides that he also wants to train the kote men so pam pam he does the kote men strike okay so look at his body moving forward so fast so he's really fast very fast men very fast kote men look at him move so so fast after we finish with the kote and men strikes uh, we have like a open session saying okay what do you want to do and i say okay i want to do gyakudo because i want to try gyakudo all right so i'm going to try gyakudo here so we decide now say uh, move in move in so from kamae starting point here is the kamae and then from here move in and as i move in reach nakayo his hands goes up as his hands goes up i hit his left man which is the gyakudo the left side to like that okay so we do the gyakudo here enter enter his hands goes up boom so the important thing is that when i enter his nakayo his hands are going up so it's the same it's the same and boom okay we do the gyakudo uh after i had four times gyakudo uh i asked so yokoi san what else do you want to try and he said oh i want to try suki so yokoi san now he's he tries his suki so it's a beautiful suki he's going to enter enter and he's going to uh try the suki okay and that look very nice suki beautiful so this is the suki which guys are asking me what is the criteria for the suki you see the body has to go backward like that so you see the body you see my body going backwards like three or four steps that is a perfect suki all right so that's how you get a suki pon body has to move backwards so after the uh, suki practice is uh, done uh, we finish this uh, training session and then we decide okay let's get on to some uh, basic uh, fight techniques okay so let's do some fight so we are going to go back we are going to do the sankyo and uh, we are going to do bow sankyo and then taito and we are going to now begin the keiko all right so the keiko part let's cover it in our next uh, video so in the next video i will be talking about uh, the distance here how to enter and what goes on inside a keiko so remember it's divided into two the basic sports where we did small men big men kote strikes do strikes uh, gyakudo strikes followed by double like kote men strikes uh, then what your favorite for example gyakudo or suki and after we have done enough of training we say okay let's fight let's get into keiko and uh, so please see the part 2 of the video which talks about the analysis of the keiko which happens between me and yokoisan also in the background some strong fighters are fighting so i'm also going to be explaining their techniques thank you